mean? Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? You haven't seen Dr. Fred's plans for a super battery around, have you? No, just these world domination plans of Purple's. Any of Fred's plans would probably be in his office or the lab. What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Pushing old ladies down the stairs? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. Wanna help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. How's your new band doing? Green tea and the sushi platter? We're doing great! We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Carefully crafted melody and distinctive counterpoint? Volume, man! Volume! We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band! We're pulling out all the stops! Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. We can generate a lot more sound that way. Are you working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I've got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. Have you gotten any airplay? No, we're a little too experimental for most radio stations. But we have a huge following in the club scene. That's great. Yeah. Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. It's getting back out of it is hard. Can you actually use that bowling ball? No, Purple brought that in here after he grew arms. He got really discouraged, though, because he doesn't have fingers. Well, see you later, Green. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Uh-oh, this looks like it might work. It's sticking out. Wow! This is loud! Whew! Now, where did Dr. Fred go? Hey, aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope, doesn't ring a bell. But I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. So you gave up the crazy military commando thing? I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. 
Now I collect stamps. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No! I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. What happened to the old hamster? I... I don't remember. When I try, all I can think of is a flash of light and this horrible sound. What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like, ding, oh god, I hear it in my dreams till this day. That hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement sometimes, but then he starts sweating, and then he gets wet, and then he gets cold, and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? Are you making fun of me? No, I... I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Oh, it makes me so mad. I just want to... Relax. I want to relax. I'll be okay if I just focus on my stamps. Are all your hobbies this fascinating? I don't have any other hobbies. These stamps are my whole life. If anything were ever to happen to them... How are the folks? Well, Dad's in the basement doing an experiment. Mom's in the next room spying on a honeymoon. Ted's in the front yard. Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a birdbath, actually, but it rhymes better your way. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye! Peace be with you. He's reading the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> Creepy. Must be an Edison. Boy, she looks even worse than she did five years ago. Excuse me? What is it? I'm rather... Say, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? No, my name is Threepwood. Nice try, but I never forget a face. You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? I'm trying to keep a tentacle from conquering the world. Really? How nice. How's Dr. Fred doing? Well, he's still upset about the family financial situation, seeing that it's his fault and all. But he seems a lot better now that he stopped sleepwalking. How did he wreck the family finances? Well, we should have made millions on the computer game they made about us. But the resident genius locked the contract in the safe in his office and forgot the combination. What's wrong with sleepwalking? Ordinarily nothing. But when Fred sleepwalks, he remembers the combination to the safe. I find him in the office, opening it, screaming like a cat in the oven, and slamming it again. Something about what's in there really scares him. Unfortunately, I was never able to catch the combination since he works it so fast. How did he manage to stop sleepwalking? He stopped sleeping. Fred drinks a lot of coffee. Me? I only drink decaf. You haven't seen any plans for a super battery around, have you? Super battery, huh? Fred might have something like that. Fred is the one who told me to find them.
I was just admiring your statue. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colonial times. One of Fred's ancestors carved it. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's the best surveillance system in the state. Is that a Plexus 7000 VCR? It sure is. It's got a dual tape speed motor with cobalt casing. Don't touch it. Are those xenophobe crystal matrix monitors? They sure are. They're so clear you can see the fleas on the bedroom wall. Don't touch. Do you think I could uh, play with these a bit? Absolutely not. I'll let you get back to what you are doing. Come back any time, you big hunk. <laughs> There's a whole lot of keys on here. It's pretty darn cold. I'm sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. Hey, Ted! Talkative as ever, eh, Ted? Boy, I haven't seen you since I was here five years ago. You haven't changed a whole lot. You know, I bet you'd really like my friend Hoagie. You could hit him over the head with a bowling ball and it wouldn't phase him. Boy, I wish I had as little on my mind as you do. I mean, my best friends are stranded in time. I've got to somehow get hold of a diamond. I wish I knew someone with a lot of money. Well, I'd best be on about saving the world. It's empty. He looks like he's in a hurry. Hi! Don't sneak up on me like that. Nice crowbar. Thanks. Don't even think about asking to use it. I need it. What are you up to? Uh, I uh, locked my keys in the car. If you're locked out, why break into the trunk? I uh, have a spare set of keys in there. Here, perhaps these are your keys. Where? Gimme. Hey, thanks, pal. Keep the crowbar. Thank you, masked man. Maybe this one. It must be... I think it's fake. Thank you. 
I figure this is about $876,600 worth of quarters. 1968 Ew, it's soaking wet. My grandma gave me one like this for my birthday. I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. You looking at me? Are you looking at me? Then who are you looking at, huh? I asked you a question. Okay, clown, that does it. I hate that clown. Actually, I'd call this more of a freak. Whew. To do. It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. It's capable of storing up to one gigavolt with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow! There, it's off. But it's too late now. Warning! Output from this device is highly toxic and may cause tyrannical delusions if ingested. I've got the plans! Quick! We have to flush them to Hoagie! How did you get over there? My ingenious super battery design, please! You really flushed them! Yes! Down the toilet! No! Through time! Using the highly sophisticated Time Flux Hydraulic Vortex Chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time! Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time! Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No! Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh great, I'm stuck in colonial times, tentacles are taking over the world, and now the toilet's backing up. Hoagie! Come over here! It's your old pal, Dr. Fred! Dr. Fred? How'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie! Bring them to Red Edison! He's my great 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 grandfather! He'll know what to do! You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy! Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye.
Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Time for me to save the world, I guess. <laughs>